plasma chain based on a of a Ethereum client. So you can run full smart contracts there and do anything you want to do on the main network. And that's also what I'm trying with my team is basically creating a public good plasma chain where all the smart contracts that are too expensive to run on the network on the Ethereum network if the fees go up. You can just take them and deploy them the same way on our chain and uh, send transactions to them and use them for your app. So this is kind of the whole span of use cases that I see in the different applications. The computation is expensive on the Ethereum main network and people try to offload it in different ways. For example, there's a, the TrueBit platform uh, that is being built and they design specific incentives to do off-chain computation. There's all this talk about zero knowledge proofs and how you could prove off-chain computation using that. And um, there is Plasma and it looks like you could do uh, general computation on there as well. Uh, but research has kind of shown that it's limited. So you can only take specific, uh, how do you say, logic on Plasma because you need to be able to always kind of prove that you had a specific state of execution. And, the state objects, they are not the same like general computation. So I think we can use Plasma to offload a lot of specific computation. For example, I build a decentralized exchange, I build a specific game, and this can run as Plasma. But so far, I personally don't see a good way to run uh, general computation just like smart contracts on Plasma. For that, you need data availability. So you need to build a system like Ethereum charting in a way where there's one party taking care of, you know, always delivering the data and keeping all the data around that is necessary to verify the computation, and another party that kind of collects the requests and mines the blocks. But I think that is still, can come earlier than, for example, the layer one uh, scaling solutions like sharding and Casper, because uh, there is not much missing right now. We have the Plasma architecture, and now we just need to put like data availability on top and then we have a really cool system that can run general computation. When I say general computation, I basically mean EVM smart contracts and uh, with persistent state. So you can write something into the storage, you can come back three years later and it's still there. So I think this is possible, but Plasma design is not enough to do that. You need Plasma plus data availability. So one good technology for that is uh, crypto economic aggregate signatures or um, and this uh, thing that Definity is doing, how is it called? Um, I think just aggregate, BLS aggregate signatures, right? When we want to uh, make sure that data is available, independent parties need to vote on that. They need to say, hey, I see that this block is available. And another guy wants to say, I want to see that this block is available. And if you scale this around the world, you have a lot of computers voting on, I see the data, right? But how do you prove that? Well, they need to sign something or something like that. And then you need to aggregate all these signatures and it will become a lot of data for many computers, which doesn't fit onto the Ethereum network. If you use BLS signatures, there is a compact way to kind of put them all together and they are as big as one signature. And you can verify it the same way. And that way you can you know, aggregate all the votes offline and just send 65 bytes to the Ethereum network and verify that 50 or 500 guys voted on the availability of some data. This is the BLS signature scheme. This is what Definity is doing, for example. And then there is a workaround for this uh, algorithm, unfortunately, is not working on Ethereum yet. This BLS uh, curve is not available. But we can do a workaround with a game where instead of collecting the signatures itself, we just collect a bitmap and we say, this signature was present, this signature was not present. We give it a spot in the bitmap. Every bit represents one signature. And then we just submit that data to the Ethereum uh, blockchain and we give it a challenge period where anyone can say, but hey, I didn't sign anyone, yet in the bitmap, my position has a one instead of a zero. Please prove to me that I signed with a deposit, right? You put a deposit and you challenge. And then the guy who submitted the bitmap if he cannot show that you that there is a signature from you, he will lose his deposit. So that way we can still submit all these votes onto the Ethereum main network. We just need a short uh, challenge period. When we collect all the votes offline, 
we basically have all the signatures one next to each other. So if there is a, ch a challenge for, let's say, position 75, he will just look into his basket at position 75, put, uh, collect a signature and just submit it to the network and say like, look, here it is. That's why they call it crypto economic because it implements this challenge response game. Same like we have with plasma proofs, right? Um, and it's a workaround because we cannot do the advanced fancy cryptography yet. But uh, we can already still use it when we just implement a game like that. And I think that's what we are trying to find out as a community r right now. Like, how well can this crypto, can these crypto economic games perform? Do they really bring the security that we expect? And um, I don't know, I can only give my personal impression and it's uh, far from perfect. So last year, my team implemented a decentralized poker platform with like a state channel architecture for up to 10 participants in one state channel. And we had really difficult times in, uh, you know, keeping these state channels running because uh, there is timeout periods, for example, 20 minutes. But if the gas price skyrockets on Ethereum, your transaction sometimes not accepted for days, right? And then, you know, the state channels time out or the crypto economic game times out and the guy loses his deposit just because it was kind of too difficult, you know, to resend the transaction with a higher gas price. And if we are not able to solve these problems, like I think that's a task for the whole Ethereum community, uh, then uh, we won't be able to use these uh, games and then all these fancy stuff like generalized state channels, plasma, and crypto economic aggregate signatures, they will not work. So we really need to test this in the wild to know if it's, if it's holding or not.